Hey guys! So I'm just doing a face to camera vlog. Um, hello. It is 8:27 p.m. Um, haven't vlogged today. I filmed a video. Um, basically, I got my food finally, and I just filmed an unboxing, like a haul thingy, Bob. Um, I may do one every month or something like that. I, I don't know. It just depends if I have the money and what they have in stock. Because I try to get as much as I can, just because there's a lot of stuff like. I really like uh, but I got some it's mainly crisps I got a lot of this time like crisps that you pay a lot of money for they were like cheap ridiculously cheap so I got a bunch of those uh, like I got a few sweet treats now here and then um, I also got some hot chocolate pods because I love them and um, that's my boyfriend um, it's mainly savoury and sweet stuff um, I got three tins uh, they're just like kids spaghetti and smart sauce I love them used to love them when I lived at home uh, I had two tubs tubes you know tubs of ketchup not ketchup but like tubs of ketchup but it's barbecue sauce and I got all this stuff like porridge and mainly porridge um, I got um, randoms M&M's um, those mint chocolate buttons that I really like um, Walnut whips, just had one. Um, bit naughty of me. Um, and just a wide variety of stuff, which is kind of funny because I've currently in this use up phase, so um, but that box is that box is special. Um, at the moment, it's just got food in there that can't be put anywhere else because I'm trying to clear out my fridge because it's just it's just not behaving itself. So I don't really want to put anything in the fridge if I can help it um, until I've figured it out because it's not like oh I could just sell something. I've got to literally switch it off, and possibly defrost the freezer as well, and then sort out what's causing this leak because there's like a bunch of water in my fridge and then I at the same time I'm, I've got to uh, like wash all the like the um what's the word the shelves but I've got to remember where they go back so uh that's a big thing that I'm going to be doing um but I need my dad's assistance because I don't I I haven't got anything to basically when when you get a fridge it's supposed to come especially the fridge like this it's supposed to come with a tiny little plunger and that's to like unplug all like if there's a blockage or something like I don't know I don't know how water would get blocked but um uh, and obviously this fridge is second hand so um it, it didn't come with that I will in the future I will get an absolute brand new fridge. It's just this was off marketplace for 40 quid and I needed a freezer. That's what I wanted. I would have been happy with a massive freezer and a tiny little fridge. Um, but usually some of the fridges I've seen are big freeze big fridges with tiny little freezers, but I'm I'm more wanting to use a freezer than a fridge. Um so yeah, so uh so next year I may get a, a new fridge freezer, we'll see. Um and depending on everything, I may get a chest freezer. I just don't know how or where I'd put it, just because I I want to put it somewhere, but I don't know if I could put it in the pantry, if it's safe to put in the pantry. I, I just don't know. Like there is a plug socket that's permanently on. Like there's no off switch or anything for it. Um but I don't know what you would do that for. I'm thinking a chest freezer that could be used in there. Um, my parents say it could be used to hang up like um, a cordless vacuum cleaner, like uh, the Dyson they're giving me. I should be getting it soon. They're just looking for a new Hoover. Um, they're also giving me the TV. I think I said that. Um, but yeah, um, my boyfriend's talking about giving me. It's, it, it, basically, my boyfriend is giving me parts of his old computer. Well, all parts of his computer. So. We're gonna build one for me so that we could replace it and stuff like that. Even though at the moment I'm happy with this one, um, but I I just don't want to wait leave it till the time when this computer really goes kaput on me and I'm just like I don't have a computer. I mean I have a laptop. It's like 64 gigabyte memory. What can I do with that? <laughs> so um, yeah, which is why I'm trying to keep myself on my editing as well. So as soon as the video is filmed, edit, publish, and upload it, so I don't lose months of footage at the moment like half a year's worth of videos are on there because I never uploaded but yeah so um, I'm going to change the way I do vlogs sometimes and um, sometimes I will talk sometimes I won't um, time lapses there's been some time lapses hopefully 
page of Victoria in this vlog um, of like my studying and stuff like that because I was streaming my study sessions. Um, I haven't yet um, today. I just don't want to. Got up like forgot I had a tutorial. <laughs> Got up at like eleven fifty-five, so I could still sleep in the morning. Um, I did sleep well last night, but um, so. I keep doing this, like, the past few days I've just been like, Pew! I don't know why, I think it's because I've got nails, like, it's, yeah, <laughs> I'm weird, I don't know, I don't care, um, so yeah, so I may change the way I do, um, vlogs and stuff like that, um, I'm not changing, wait, it's going to be a gradual change, because I want to know if I like it, basically, I watch this YouTuber, and she does a mix of silent vlogs, but also she talks as well, and I want to, I like that style of vlogging, but I also like time lapses and stuff like that, but with no music, with the sound actually sped up, uh, but sometimes with music and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to explore the way I would want to make videos myself. I mean, it's nice talking to a camera, but sometimes I just can't be bothered editing it. So I just literally like cut it out. And obviously I talk for ages. So figure out what's best for film for me and what I would watch because um, they say you're supposed to make videos that you'd want your, like your subscribers would want to watch. But I don't want to make videos that I wouldn't watch myself because basically it's me who's watching these videos the most more than anyone because of how like most of the views on my videos come from me watching them, re-watching them again. So I just come out any time <laughs> on this day. I don't know what would change in the future but practically near enough all the views on my videos except for a few which are in my popular videos. It would come from me re-watching the videos because I, I I like it. I really like watching my old videos back, especially like the ones I had at uni. Um, the ones I had at uni. <laughs> I was like, oh, living at home. Mm, not really. Sometimes I get a bit, dare I say, triggered. I, I don't know. Um, it's not like, oh, I'm a quivering mess curling the ball on the floor. It makes me angry <laughs> which isn't a good thing it just makes me so mad about what i had to go through and how much i was suffering and no one believed me no one did believe me to this day of what happened but at that time i had no one to talk to except for my boyfriend and my friends but people in my real life i'd give drop hints here and there about what was happening and no one believed me no one believed me because my parents especially my mom put up this front of who she was as a person but behind closed doors cl behind closed doors she was a completely different woman and no one saw that woman except for me sometimes it would sneak out like sneak out you know come out when my dad was around but it was, it was me who saw everything and it's like it was bad and it just makes me so mad that no one believed me I didn't know what to do. I couldn't post any, like, if I wanted to help or advice on Facebook because my grandma's on Facebook and my grandma challenges anything I say if I say some of that hints up some by my parents. So, like, there was this Facebook post of, like, post a picture of your pair that's, like, and then with you and no longer with you and I posted a picture of her as I said how she would um, support me and, just, like, if me and mum, if mum was being mean to me, Rose would seek me out and, you know, comfort me. And my grandma went absolute bonkers at me. She said, I have no right to grieve Rose because Rose died in my mum's arms. She's, ve she's a very old fashioned woman. And the reason of what happened to me was because of what she did to my mum. Well, she and my granddad, but mainly her. Um, so it's kind of her fault. And I don't like saying that because I feel guilty. But if she didn't treat my mum the way she treated her, I wouldn't have gone through what I went through and I wouldn't be I mean I wouldn't be I would be a completely different person if I'm being honest but like you can't change the past so you just gotta keep going on with the future I guess but it just makes me so mad that no one believed me like you guys believe me like I've seen some comments and messages and like stuff like that when I was going through that and like when I was uploading them even though I was uploading them when I was away from home home <laughs> my parents house um and I had more nice comments from absolute strangers than I did from my own mother. So, 
that tells you a lot. Anyway, <laughs> I try not to talk about this much because, I mean, it's been two years since I left home, but obviously two years is nothing on like how many years I was living there and <laughs> I look like a monkey then. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so it just it just kind of annoys me. Sometimes sometimes I get so annoyed, but I like to watch them back just to see how far I've come. Um, and yeah, hi. So I'm trying to get out of not get out of, but trying to avoid staying at my parents for Christmas this year. Not because oh I don't want to. It's the moving, and we don't know exactly what's happening yet because they put they had to put the house back up for sale. So I don't know if they're moving in before Christmas or after Christmas and if they move in after Christmas I'll go to that like childhood home and I'll stay there for Christmas but if they move after before Christmas and they're looking at a place with only one bedroom so I'd have to sleep in the living room no privacy that doesn't sit right with me I'm sorry it'll give me flashbacks of going on a boat and um it just doesn't sit right with me and I'll be like 26 I'll be 26 when I go for Christmas a 26 year old woman with no privacy it it doesn't feel right and um, even my friend says it, it just doesn't feel right so my dad said he's happy to pick me up whatever day so I'm, I might end up going on Christmas Day so I might end up making new traditions here and if they do get the one bedroom house whatever the, it's a house but it's kind of like a caravan but it's also kind of like a house it's really hard to explain what it is um and if they get that one bedroom place then my boyfriend can come over before christmas so like he doesn't like my parents so obviously i have to go to visit my parents for christmas day but in the evening i come back and then we could have like a little second christmas kind of um and we can make new traditions together and stuff like that and i think I don't know. I don't want. I don't want to too, like push myself too much. But um, I love tradition. Like I love tradition. I love routine. I will stick to it, and I will get a bit not temper tantrum me, but I don't like it when traditions and routines are not followed, especially if they're ones that have been happen having for years, and if they're not followed, it just messes the whole day. It all just mess the whole thing up. Like like my whole day or my whole holiday season will be messed up because of this not happening and stuff like that so like my dad having to work on Christmas Eve and me and mum getting a turkey and stuff like that instead of me and my dad that set off the whole Christmas I, I did not like that Christmas because of that so we'll see <laughs> anyway ramble over I got a message to reply to um, I've got a cup of tea to drink a few teas um, and I have got some drama on the discord apparently I don't know, people are in a word fight, so I'm gonna see what's going on there. So yeah, um, I shall go now. Um, maybe there'll be time, time lapses, I don't know. I need to edit videos, I've got so much stuff to do. I love this jacket though. I'm in my nighty, I've been, I didn't wanna get dressed today. Um, so I had a shower and then I put my pajamas back on. Don't we all do that? So yeah, I'm gonna go now. I completely forgot I was wearing my nighty anyway. <laughs> anyway, bye.
have you got Poppy? <laughs> she looks really funny in those pajamas. It's like an only one that babies were. <laughs> You like it? When she goes outside, you have to hold her back up so she can cook. Gosh, she's really looking She went to the toilet before. So we left the door open, she went outside again and she had a wee. <laughs> so I'm going to wash it. Oh, silly doggy. Aww. She's happy with it. Oh, yeah, she looks up. Hey guys! Hello, so it is um, Sunday. Um, I came back, I'm just dropping stuff now. Um, I came back from visiting my parents. My dad dropped me off um, because. And I've dropped something. Just my hand sanitizer. Um, <laughs> dad dropped me off because um, they need to get the bins out and they thought, like, give me life. So I got left back home. Um, so yeah, so Poppy had a surgery um, on Thursday and I saw her today. She's still in her surgery pajamas. Um, it's kind of like instead of giving her the cone of shame, um, she gets. Um, pajamas and um, this is a video but yeah this is the new toy I gave her I decided to give her a toy for being a brave girl for having a surgery and she was so excited she ate the tag but she was so excited to have it and she's an absolute nutcase um, let me try and find this one I think I would have already included these in today's vlog, hopefully. Future Victoria, please do. Um, but she's just absolutely nutters. Like. She's absolutely bonkers. Like. But I've got to show you this. Right, there you go. <laughs> you probably would have seen it before, but. I think it's mirrored this. How oh, weird. <laughs> she's just absolutely bonkers. Anyway, it was nice to see her. Um, she's a cheeky dog. She gave me lots of cuddles and kisses, and as you do. Um, and um, yeah, uh, let me just. Sorry, <laughs> Facebook post. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I went to see them. Um, got food, which was nice. Mum complained again. What a surprise! Like, I'm sick of her. It's like, 
it's kind of like I have to do it her way or no way at all, so it kind of annoys me. Anyway, nothing I can do about that. Um, but I'm going to put my candle on. That's what I'm going to do. So yeah, so uh, not next week, week after, the day before my birthday, I'm visiting my parents and looking after Poppy. Um, because they're going to Trafford Centre because they are moving before Christmas. So they want to get Christmas stuff done before um, they move, which obviously makes sense. Um, so I'm going to my parents' house because I just don't like looking after Poppy here. Not because she's a nightmare. She's a fluffy ball of trouble. But there's just not enough room for her to roam around and like play around. And I, I just prefer to look after my parents and so I can have a nosy. That's naughty. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to my parents on Thursday. Not necessarily the first day after the day I get paid. Um, going over there. And I have a phone call appointment, but I'll just answer it while I'm with Poppy. Um, and we're just going to chill in the house all day. Bring my phone, maybe bring my DSs, laptop. It just depends what mood Poppy's in, really. Um, and then... Um, Yeah, I'm just gonna look after that for the whole day. So I'm going going for tea next Sunday, and then um, I go on go to visit my parents on the 27th um, and the 28th, and then I'm back uh, back back to visit them on the 30th because my grandma, Auntie Brenda, and my Auntie Tracy, who is absolutely brilliant, and I'm too, just absolutely brilliant, um, are coming around because obviously this is the last time they'll have parents will have guests over for dinner because they're moving, so um, they're all coming. And um, we're going to have a Sunday dinner because I thought we had one today, but we had quiche. Quite surprised, I wasn't expecting quiche, um, but we had quiche. Um, for my birthday, we're actually going out for dinner. Um, going to a pub that I've been to before for a birthday of mine. Um, nope. That's somewhere else. Um, I've never been there before, I think. I can't remember. I thought I went there for a birthday, but that was a birthday a while ago. Like, 14th birthday, something like that. Maybe my 12th or 11th, I don't know. Um, so, I haven't been there, I don't think. But they allow dogs there. And he also do Hunter's Chicken, so it's a sell point for me. So we're going there for my birthday, we're having food there, and we'll come home and have cake. Cake! Um, they're probably going to go down the 27th most likely because they'll go to the garden centre and stuff because it's a very specific cake that I absolutely love which you've seen in many videos before um, so yeah so today's visit went alright my mum complained um, my mum never my mum never says nice things she always complains and I'm sick of it but I can't do anything about it anyway <laughs> although my mum complained and I ruined the whole day it was a good day um, so yeah um, she made Victoria sponge couldn't eat it all. But yeah, all the strawberry jam, so I'm now bouncing off the walls. Figuratively, not literally. Um, so yeah, so my dad dropped me off and I'm here chilling. Um, I've got some stuff to get done, so I'm going to be busy bumblebee because I've got cleaning to do, as always. Um, I've got uni stuff and all that fun stuff to do because I'm still on week two of E219 and week three started yesterday, so I need to get started on that and then... Um, yeah, so I'm doing, I'm doing some planning first because I've got this list of stuff I want to get done before half term, so I've got to work through that list. And um, so, uh, yeah, um, yeah, but it's also before half term and also during half term, I think. So we'll see. Um, I'm just trying to get as much stuff as I possibly can done. And yeah, it's just going to be a really busy week between Monday and Friday. So, yeah trying to get to week six week four week five it's gonna be a task but i'm gonna try my best so yeah i'm doing what i think i'm just gonna go up to week four and then i'll do the week four or to week four the new the one and then we'll see afterwards so yeah ramble i'm tired i need tea i've got water instead so yeah yeah, I'm gonna watch your videos and finish my M&Ms from yesterday, um, and just get some stuff done. I may include time last today. I don't know, but I know tomorrow I will. So, yeah. I've got five days, sixteen hours, eight minutes, and fifty. Wait, it's frozen. 
No! It's gonna reset it. Oh, here we go. Four days, 23 hours, zero minutes and 50 seconds. Still have to have break, because it casts till like 6 p.m. So, and obviously, I missed something. Oh yeah, 23 hours, sorry. <laughs> I got so confused. But yeah, that's right. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna get some stuff done. And try and make the rest of the best of what the rest of this Sunday is. Bye.